Why aren't more people talking about HEC 293? It's time to uncover the truth behind this controversial cell line. HEC 293 stands for Human Embryonic Kidney 293. Originating from a single human embryo in the 1970s, these cells came from an electively aborted fetus and were transformed to create an immortalized cell line. That means they keep growing and dividing indefinitely, no new human samples needed. So where is HEC 293 used? Pharmaceuticals. It's a superstar in drug research vaccine development including COVID-19 vaccines and gene therapy. Food and beverage industry. Companies like Senomix used it to test and develop artificial flavor enhancers, especially for sweeteners and umami flavors. Don't worry, the cells never end up in your food, they're just part of the testing process. And in biotech and cosmetics, some beauty and skincare products have used these cells for lab testing. Now, let's tackle the ethics. The use of HEC 293 is controversial because it originated from a human fetus, but it's been self-replicating in labs for over 50 years. No new fetal tissue is being collected. Religious groups and anti-abortion activists have raised ethical concerns, but most scientists see it as a routine research tool, similar to other immortalized cell lines like HeLa cells. Final verdict? Yes, HEC 293 originally came from a human fetus but it's not like new babies are being used for science. These cells have been lab-grown for decades so no new human tissue is involved. And you definitely won't find HEC 293 in your food, medicine, or vaccines, it's just a tool used in their development. So, if you're worried about what's in your food, focus on avoiding toxic preservatives, seed oils, and synthetic chemicals, not fetal cells in your cheeseburger. Stay informed, stay healthy.